Rihanna isn't as sweet as we believe she is. Did she make Kendall Jenner cry? She enraged the British populace, honestly admitting to still being in love with Chris Brown in a 2020 interview. Stay tuned because we've got everything you need to know. Before we move on, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to turn on post notifications. Rihanna, who was once a pop sensation, is undeniably talented. Rai Rai, who once dominated the music industry, is now the queen of the fashion industry. To call Rai Rai an icon is an understatement, but this is a fashionista we all know and love. Let's say she's said to have ruffled a few feathers. Rihanna's nascent savagery first surfaced in 2011 when Sierra exposed her. After running across Rihanna at a party in 2011, Sierra informed Joan Rivers that she wasn't the most excellent person she'd ever met. It's strange because I've always admired and respected what she's done in the fashion world, but it wasn't the most pleasant encounter. Following Cece's revelation, the two singers had an ongoing Twitter feud, and instead of apologizing for being nasty to Sierra at the party, Rai Rai just threw shade. Rihanna quickly responded with a tweet that read, My bad, see did I forget to tip you hurt. Sierra then said, Trust me Rihanna, you don't want to see me on or off the stage, to which Rai Rai replied, Good luck with booking that stage. Sierra's admirers were outraged, and they instantly began bombing Rara's Twitter and Instagram accounts. One fan said, Rihanna is so boring now. I'm sick of her whining about how horrible she is. Maybe she should rave about how late she is instead, because you don't see awful gangsters up on stage singing about how bad they are, do you? Sierra is far more attractive than she is. When Rihanna dislikes someone, she makes it very plain, almost too clearly to the point where admirers have called her out in the past, telling her that she's a little too petty and excessively nasty. Before we go ahead, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to turn on post notifications. Let's start with Rai Rai's arch enemy, Kendall Jenner. The one-sided dispute began in 2012 when Kendall Jenner was thrilled to attend Rihanna's performance in Los Angeles. A few hours before the show, Kendall tweeted, if Rihanna doesn't perform complicated tomorrow, I'm going to get extremely unhappy. To which Rihanna responded, well, don't come. Oh, that's a bit uncalled for, right? But things only got worse in 2015. Because of Kendall Jenner, Rihanna canceled her appearance at Victoria's Secret Fashion Week. Model Jordan Dunn, who worked for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, was rumored to have been replaced on short notice by Kendall Jenner. According to a Star magazine, Rai Rai left the show because she didn't want to see Kendall's face or be in the same room. Don't believe us, the sources say for themselves. During the 2018 Met Gala, Rai Rai took fire at Kendall, and it wasn't pretty when she was dressed in a gorgeous gown. Rihanna's Fenty Pope made it clear to Kendall that her clothing sucked and that her physique sucked as well. At the bar, Rihanna was standing next to Kendall and said loudly, I have curves to pull this outfit off. I would absolutely despise to be a stick figure, according to a source. Then she just gazed at Kendall, laughed in her face, and walked away. Oh no, poor Kendall. The Kardashians are known for stealing people's swag, but that comment was seriously uncalled for. Chris harmed Rihanna. As a result, he received a prison sentence and a restraining order. Even though she was assaulted and injured, Rai Rai later revealed to Oprah her biggest concern was whether Chris was still alive, if he was alright, and if he'd get a job. Was he in desperate need of assistance? However, this is where things get interesting. Rihanna recently introduced Chris to the public eye. While informing Oprah a couple of years after that, she is re-establishing trust with Chris. Rihanna confessed to being smitten. Chris was always going to come back to me. Regardless of the message it may send to little girls, Rai Rai said, I wanted him to know how it felt to lose me and its ramifications. Still, I realized I couldn't bury how I felt, so I decided it was important for me to be in a good place, and I wasn't going to allow anyone's opinion to stand in the way of that, even if it was a mistake. Rihanna then sought to persuade supporters that Chris is a changed guy by claiming, It's different now. We don't have those types of disputes anymore. We value each other. We know precisely what we have now, and we don't want to lose it, implying that the pair had broken up for good. Rai Rai was chastised in 2017 for something other than shady behavior towards other celebs and destroying men's hearts. She had come to avenge the Queen of England. Rihanna was accused of being discourteous when she posted some shocking altered images of the Queen, posting a racy photo to her Instagram. 
Rai Rai celebrated the Queen's 91st birthday with a video. Only a few pictures of the Queen's face were pasted onto her bodies. It's not that deep furious, according to the caption. Rai Rai's supporters retaliated by calling her disrespectful. Of course, she was rude and strange. She didn't seem to mind. In her eyes, she was the true queen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.